2014, Germany won the World Cup final against Argentina by a single goal scored in the final moments of overtime. But what if I told you it wasn't purely skill, or even luck, that carried Germany to this ultimate victory? By partnering with software company SAP, the German Football Association was able to collect and analyse the playing patterns of the other teams. Through this analysis of information, known as Big Data, the German football team could predict what strategies teams were likely to implement in different circumstances. Now, what if we could use this incredibly powerful emerging technology beyond the scope of a football match? What if we could use it to fight the world's most pressing issues of health and hunger? In fact, new technologies like big data are already transforming international development and will have an even greater impact in the future. Our recent survey in collaboration with USAID and DAI predicts that technology will achieve and contribute the most to development efforts over the next decade. However, technology is also expected to be the sector that will experience the biggest changes in required skills. While blockchain and drones may be the current tech buzzwords, our study found it's actually GIS that's the most important area for future professionals to gain skills in. With the ability to merge cartography, spatial analysis and database technology, GIS allows easier management and integration of data. It also helps development organisations to select programme sites and monitor activity internationally. In Azerbaijan, the World Bank has trained teams on the ground to collect project location information using smartphones, enabling better monitoring and evaluation. Essentially, you know, when they go out, they take their smartphone, they collect a project location, they fill out a short form and then they snap a picture. And all that data is sent back to a centralised server and that creates a web mapping application that allows anybody to see what's going on. It's the kind of thing that could be easily, easily transported and extend, extended to other development agencies because all the technology is open source. A background in cartography, geography, spatial analysis, database management, web technologies and programming are all helpful when entering the GIS field. GIS software increasingly works in tandem with big data, enabling a broader and deeper analysis of geographic information. Big data analysis has the potential to predict humanitarian disasters like drought or famine. For example, big data can analyse the Google searches of people looking for water or the tweets of those discussing rising food prices. In Kampala, Uganda, UN Global Pulse has been using big data, along with artificial intelligence and GIS technology, to monitor the growth of slums in real time. Monitoring the growth of these areas of the city is very relevant for policymakers in order to provide better services to the people that live in the slums. In Kampala, this type of work has been done with enumerators going and counting houses and structures. What we are doing now is to develop a software so that the software is doing this automatically. As a result, the work is much, much faster and in the long term, can be more accurate also in terms of identifying trends because of the volume of data that can be analysed. Knowledge of programming languages such as Java, C, Python or Scala can increasingly be acquired online or in coding courses outside of university. Today, the question really isn't if the technology landscape will change, but when and how dramatically. In this way, big data and GIS tech skills coupled with soft skills such as flexibility and an innovative mindset are also increasingly coveted within the development sector. To work with innovation is not only about uh, acquiring new skills, it's also about approaching things with an open mind. Young generations have made maybe a better predisposition to do this. So, while big data couldn't carry Germany to victory this time, perhaps it could take you to the next round of your development career. To learn more about the skills future development professionals need to know, check out the Next Generation Professional series, an online report.